Hello, hello, and welcome to another FX Centrum daily market analysis. Uh, for today, I will go for our cross asset list. Um, I will speak about the coffee market, WTI, uh, US 100, uh, USD Japanese Yen, uh, Pound Dollar, Euro Dollar, US 30, Gold Market, US Dollar Index, and Bitcoin versus US Dollar. We'll do so by using uh, our FX Centrum platform. So let's begin with the coffee market and see what happened. So yesterday we had a quite a big event in US. We had FMC meeting minutes and federal funds rate. And let's see what is the situation structurally and what we can see on the market. So the coffee market remained in the consolidation around 185 mark. Uh, just tested the um, middle Bollinger Band. And uh, we're still trading near the key support. So key support is set at 180.60 uh, mark. Uh, so in case of the downside breakout of that key support, uh, we might see 175.80 to be on the test and 165.50. We can see slow line and fast line are sloping to the downside and slow line is around 40 mark. The fast line is around 20 mark, a little oversold at this point, but still... Um, the bigger chance is, of course, downside break versus upside break. Says, since we have um, uh, key resistance uh, all the way at 197.74, just in case of the rally, there will be an upper Bollinger Band around 190 mark. Now, WTI, um, we had a down day yesterday, so we can see the fast line uh, basically corrected at this point. A slow line is still trading upside. Um, but this down day, actually we had a close well of the lows so somewhere in the middle, which is a basically not sign of weakness, it's more sign of strength. Take a look at the hourly time frame, we can see that we had a closings below the lower Bollinger Band on the hourly time frame. And this is not particularly good sign, so we had this natural pullback. Now it will be interesting to see, um, can we uh, break this upper Bollinger Band on hourly 82.66, 82.50 uh, and then trade higher to potentially to retest 83.55 or we have a downside continuation to retest the low. At this point the Bollinger Bands are trying to contract on hourly so I will rather wait for this contraction to happen um, and then uh, watch for potential move either upside to retest the high or the downside continuation early to retest the low around 20 uh, mark. So this is how so this is how we what we have on a daily time frame. So it's possible, of course, that fast line can still correct for a day or two and try to get towards middle Bollinger Band, but we need to see more price action. Um, so far, we had a downside break with the lower Bollinger Band yesterday and a natural natural reaction higher. Now US 100 is testing a key resistance level, so we didn't have a down break. There was a potential for the downside break, but uh, there was no confirmation for that. So market traded higher into the upper Bollinger Band. So 18,425, uh, we're just around that previous swing high. So this will be a critical, important point. Upper Bollinger Band is set at 18,000. Or 30, and the previous swing high is around 18,418. Um, so this will be the critical pivot point. If we can, if the, this market can break this level and let's say close above upper Bollinger Band, that will be a good sign uh, for the further rally. Uh, but so far, we just have a test of this level. So break and hold above this key resistance can lead the price towards 18,500, 18,600 mark. But potential rejection, of course, can lead price uh, again towards this middle Bollinger Band around 18,100 mark. Let's take a look at the hourly, let's say four hour time frame. We have this break and hold above upper Bollinger Band. See the hourly time frame. We can see the break and Mark is trying and holding this uh, break, but the key resistance on the test. USD Japanese Yen, so we had a down move yesterday after um, FOMC, uh, but we see here that market lost momentum and naturally now it's pulling back and rallying on hourly time frame. So there is a potential for retest of the middle Bollinger Band at 
the beginning of this downside move was around 15170 mark. Take a look at the daily time frame. So market just reached the upper Bollinger Band and had a down close. So um, that was not particularly strong sign for the continuation today. Uh, but um, so far, there is a potential for at least a rally or a pullback based on this exhaustion. Um, you can also see here the fast line and slow line. You just fast line is trying to cross here. Uh, the slow line so there will be a potential at least at 151.19 in case of the downside continuation later for the day let's say the market will rally a bit and then eventually have the downside continuation or a bear flag then 148.35 might be in the play uh, which is uh, let's say the middle bollinger band and another down day here so um that's about the USD Japanese yen. In terms of pound dollar, we had actually a quite a um, reaction day. So, as alerted uh, yesterday, there was like a, a pin bar, and we didn't break that pin bar. So, actually, we had a reaction upside. But the slow line is still trading, sloping to the downside on the daily time frame, where the fast line had actually just correction. And this close near the high and no follow through so far. This is not particularly good sign. So, we have a pretty much uh, rally and then no follow through so far markets just oscillating so only one bar break and no really test reject or anything this is a sign that we it, it, at least we can see the pullback if not full absorption of this rally so 1.27 uh, 150 mark or maybe even this low where we fmc low at 1.2710 and this seems like an interesting intraday idea because a lack of um, continuational power at this point and strong volatility, they, this can together, this can cause like a, a, some at least pullback on an hourly or even if not full absorption of this rally from yesterday. So let's take a look at the euro dollar. I think it's we have a pretty similar story. So here we had an upside breakout and no real follow through those are the very narrow bars so this bar just barely made so classic news um bar and the middle bollinger band is around 1.0 um i will say 900 mark and the low of that bar is around 1.0863 mark the volatility is ultra high you can see here the the distance between upper and lower Bollinger Band on the hourly. So at this point, eventually this will, from my perspective, there will be a potential for this downside correction or so. So the Bollinger Band can also start to get closer to each other and start to contract. Something similar like we had here. So when the Bollinger Band started to contract, we had this rally. So we can have that potential at least pull back, if not full absorption in the next period. US 30 is actually breaking and we had a breakout of the upper Bollinger Band and that's a strong sign uh, so sign of strength today um, we need to see if today we will have a follow through and another close above and if that close will be like a narrow like this then there will be still a chance for a pullback if that close will be significant or stronger then there will be a chance for a higher prices um, Again, we had two closes above the Bollinger Band and then now just the stagnation and consolidation here that is going. So um, some of the next projection we can uh, see, for example, uh, 40,000 mark can be in the play uh, to, the, on, to the upside. And on the hourly time frame, again, if, in case of the pullback, the middle ball in Japan on hourly around uh, 39,000, I will say 430 um, is also an option. So um, still, we didn't have any pullback based on the yesterday's after the FMC rally. So there will be a chance for at least pullback. The, the distance between upper and lower ball in Japan is quite high. And this is... Uh, what is uh, the, the effect of the FMC? Volatility is became very very strong. 
Now on the gold market uh, daily time frame, uh, look at that. So we had actually a rally towards the upper Bollinger Band, but then close in the middle. And this close in the middle is a sign of weakness basically because uh, we just reached upper Bollinger Band 23, uh, put it on 22.35 and then we close in the middle. So this is a sign of weakness. And on top of that, we have a down, uh, we have a down sloping, uh, slow line and fast line and stochastic. So this in combination can result in next period downside move towards uh, this low at 21.45 and even middle ball in Japan. Let's take a look at the hourly time frame. Look at that pin bar and that tail that happened on the FMC and then just stagnation. In combination with the hourly, you know, the context on the on the daily time frame, there is a chance really for the that this whole upside move was a fake move for the buyers and that we can resolve downside in next period today and tomorrow, basically next couple of days or so. So pay attention to that. This can be also a in good, uh, interesting intraday idea uh, for the downside. Then we have dollar index. So we had this down day, uh, but still trending around the middle Bollinger Band around 103, 17, 103, 18 mark, where the slow line is actually rising and fast line is just correcting. So um, weekly is also around the uh, middle Bollinger Band. Or our just testing the lower Bollinger Band. So look at the fast line, pretty oversold and thin fast line. So there, there can be at least correction today towards the middle ball in Japan on an hourly and a four hour time frame. And on the Bitcoin versus US dollar, um, I still have a downside view. Uh, look at that weekly. First of all, the weekly, um, weekly volatility is ultra high. Look at the distance between the upper and lower ball in Japan is ultra high. And we had pretty extended market in next uh, last uh, six, seven weeks, and then we had this week close last week, this week lower low already. So, um, yes, we there was a test of 60,700 uh, mark, which was a lower Bollinger Band, but look at the daily slow line and fast line, they're sloping to the downside. Uh, so market just reject, rejected towards the middle Bollinger Band. We're still doing some contraction the daily, you can see their market trying to contract. And if you check the four hour time frame, market didn't even uh, go to the upper Bollinger Band on the four hour time frame. So we have a lots of underlying resistance at that point and upper Bollinger Band. So uh, there will be a chance for potential downside movement from my perspective um, in the next period and maybe even retest of the low at 60,700 or even pin bar low at, at 59,000 uh, mark. So that will be uh, all for this FX Centrum daily market analysis. If you didn't visit our website, uh, you can do so. So fxcentrum.com um, is the website. So you can um, check our promotions, 100% deposit bonus, um, you know, open account just in a few clicks. So either real or demo account and explore, you know, options about partnership and FX TV, our um, uh, educational department and technical analysis with we offering also trading ideas tutorials and, and daily market analysis so um, for now that will be all for this uh, video uh, have a good trading day and speak to you soon